Book of our Remembrance Day is being observed today, marking 23 years since the city fell to Serbian forces during Croatia's War of Independence. Today's ceremonies in the eastern Croatian city began with a commemorative gathering outside Vukovar's General Hospital, after which a procession of remembrance was held to the Homeland War Victims Memorial Graveyard, where wreaths are being laid and candles lit for all those who lost their lives. The civil initiative opposed to the placement of bilingual signs in Latinic and Cyrillic script outside state institutions in Vukovar began their procession half an hour earlier than the official one. Meanwhile, in the Dalmatian town of Shkabarnia, commemorations are also being held in memory of the 43 civilians and 15 defenders who were killed there 23 years ago today. The procession was held from the town's main square to the local graveyard near the chapel of St. Luke. ICTY Chief Prosecutor Serge Bramets has confirmed that there will be no appeal against the temporary release of Serbian ultranationalist and war crimes in Daiti, Vojislav Šešel despite the fact that since his release, Šešel, predictably, has begun again to publicly spread his Greater Serbia ideology. Baramets has called Šešel's release an unfortunate consequence of the court process, which had not yet been completed with a verdict. Meanwhile, Croatian Foreign Minister Vesna Pusic has confirmed that she informed EU foreign ministers yesterday of Šešel's actions since his release, emphasizing that Croatia would persist in calling on European institutions to make their stance clear. President Ivo Josipović has already sent a letter to ICTY President Theodor Meron about the issue. Former HDZ Transport Minister and Zadar Mayor Bojidar Kalmeta has been placed under investigation by the state's anti-corruption agency, USKOK. He is suspected, along with several accomplices, of embezzling some 30 million kuna from the Croatian motorways company, Hats. The trial of former Yugoslav spies Josip Perkovic and Zdravko Mustach continues in Munich. They are accused of involvement in the murder of Croatian emigrant Stepan Djurekovic in 1983. Kronoslav Prates, who has already received a life sentence for his participation in the murder, is testifying today. Sport and in the regional ABA Basketball League, Zagreb Tsibona lost to crosstown rivals Cedevita 71-69 last night. The outcome wasn't clear until the very end of the game. Rocco Leni Ukic was Cerevita's top scorer with 15 points, while Tsibona's Damir Markota racked up 14 points. Belgrade's Cervina Zvezda are top of the league with eight wins and no defeats. Cedevita are third with six victories and two losses, while Tsibona are ninth. This afternoon's forecast calls for changeable and cloudy weather with sunny periods. Rain is expected from the west during the evening, especially on the northern Adriatic coast. There will be a moderate to strong southwesterly wind on the northern coast and a southerly on the southern coast. Highest daily temperatures will be between 11 and 16 degrees Celsius inland, between 15 and 20 degrees on the coast. There will be rain in places tomorrow morning, after which the weather should stabilize. From Thursday onwards, it will be dry in most regions. There will be a northerly wind and it will be colder. On the coast, all precipitation should cease on Wednesday. There will be a northwesterly wind and then a northeasterly bura. From Thursday onwards, stable but slightly fresher weather is expected.